your excitement level's got to be going through the roof right now. You know what it is. I, I, you know, our room is pretty tough as it is. Uh, we've been banged up all year long, but it's a tough room. And, you know, to add two four-timers, we got four four-time state champs in our room now. Um, you know, so we're, we're definitely, there's a process to building for the future. And, uh, you know, you got some immediate success and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, to say I was excited was, is an understatement. I was, uh, every one of these kids I recruited from since the time they were sophomores, juniors. So it's, it's, uh, it's gotten to that point that, uh, you know, they know what I'm about. I know what they're about. And really it comes down to relationships, uh, always always leaving that door open and, and treat people the right way and, and things come back to benefit let's start with wilkie being the local boy uh, you know he he had some familiarity with brandon out at the university of minnesota but what was it uh, in your conversations that he just wanted to come back home or what was kind of the reason to come behind coming back and joining the lights here you know the and i hadn't talked this the martin situation happened fast um they called, they called uh, Brandon yesterday and let him know that he was going to transfer. Um, so all day long, we've been doing our parts and the tracers. Um, you know, no phone sheet, nothing was talked about until today. Uh, we, you know, we wanted to do it the right way. And, uh, but with regards to Martin, just talking to him, um, a lot of kids want to go to that big city, that big program. And uh, it just seems like to me, uh, I don't know if this is fully admitted. It seemed like to me, uh, and knowing Martin, he's a small town kid, um, you know, and two of his best friends are wrestling for me. So uh, he's a small town kid, a little bit city to try. Um, and I, I think it was a little too far out of his comfort zone. Um, so, uh, you know, and, and the fact that we signed two of his best friends didn't, didn't really, uh, didn't really hurt us. So, uh, you know, it just, and again, with Martin, it just comes back to that relationship. He, he's known that I've always, I, I've told him from day one that I'm always here for him if he ever needs anything. And, and, uh, you know, that, that favor was called in pretty quick and I, I, I'm stoked about it. You talk about a couple of his best friends, a couple of Colstrip hammers too, in Dakota and Jackson. How big is that? You, you and that Colstrip pipeline are doing pretty well right now. You know that Colstrip pipeline's treated me well, just like the Forsyth pipeline treated me well. Um, you know, in all reality, Eastern Montana has been treating Northern really well the last uh, five, six years. Um, so, yeah, uh, Jackson, absolute goofball. Um, I don't think he ever stops smiling, even when he's mad. But, uh, you know, the first one, the first one, the first person that contacted me was Nakota. He was, uh, he wasn't happy in North Carolina. Um, it was too far from home. Um, and, uh, I, I think again, just saw the, saw the writing on the wall and he was, he was very competitive in their program, but, uh, I think the distance from home was a little more than he could handle. And, uh, he was the first one to contact me over Christmas break and we started talking. And again, I did it the right way. I said, well, I've got to send a release request to your coach. So we, we contacted their administration and sent a release request and then we were able to talk to him. Um, so we talked about a few things and, and, uh, you know, that's kind of what sparked this whole little uh, trio. You already had a competitive room, as you alluded to. What does this do just in your own practice room to make those kids better before they even step on the mat for tournaments and duels and all that? You know, their, their work ethic is just – work ethic is contagious. Um, and these guys are going to – it's kind of that spark. It takes one spark to start a blaze. And I think uh, I think we had – a lot of great things going for us. Um, you know, we just got hammered with injuries the last four weeks. So having these guys come in, it just kind of re-ups, okay, you know what, we got to we gotta step up our game and, and all this. And, you know, as a coach, you don't want any single kid, any starter being comfortable in his position. You want to push him to uh, to excel, to, to find that next gear. Um, and I think this is going to help do that. And, you know, we're just – building for that future we're building for somebody's got to take Grandview down and I've been adamant that it's going to be us uh you know we've had a story program in the past and I, I'm trying to get them back there and uh, I, I think this is a huge step in that direction what's the status then with all the transfers and everything when can they practice compete all the nonsense they're they're good to go um uh Martin's first official practice will be tomorrow uh and stuff like that but we've uh Papers are signed, ink's dried. Uh, we just got to go through the Play NAI Eligibility Center, um, get him registered for classes, so he, he's good to go. Um, 
Nakona and Jackson, they were good to go about a week ago. Uh, they've been in the room practicing with us for about a week. And that's that's kind of one of the, the quiet things that I kept it quiet because of other things that were in the works. Um, you know, I had been hearing some mumbling. So I'm like, you know what, I'm going to hold off on a press release. Because if this does, and this is a long shot to get Martin, but if this happens, that trio coming back and wrestling with each other, and, um, Jackson and Nakota were teammates. And like I said, the three of them are best friends. Uh, and so they've always wanted to wrestle on the same team together, and um, it, it just worked out. It worked out perfectly, and um, it's kind of kickstarted. Like I said, kickstarted second semester or spring term, but it's really kickstarted our recruiting. It's going to benefit recruiting in a huge way. I can hear the smile in your voice over the phone. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's uh, you know he's trying to stay humble with it. I mean, Shane is just an hour and a half old, you know, and I, the the papers being signed. So um, I'm still coming down, and we got practice here in 35 minutes. So it, it's kind of one of those get get back into uh, get the game face back on and get down there and get ready for a duel. We got a duel tomorrow in Dickinson.